good day. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I want to cover a few uh, topics with you that I cover in my online sessions as well as my workshops. And it's titled, What Could Possibly Go Wrong? at Layer 1, of course. This is going to be a real quick, hopefully a little quick run through on three topics that I like to cover all the time that you may want to go back and check in your own environment. So let's start. We've got excessive dust. Uh, I remember reading a while ago there was some study or article somewhere and, and the author claimed that 75% of all equipment failure was due to dust on the motherboard or, or whatnot. It also gets a little worse when your fans die and, and you don't know about that then obviously that's another issue. Then we've got uh, related is uncovered fiber connectors or ports and this is a big it's kind of a pet peeve but this is a legitimate issue. If you do have fiber connectors or, or ports, please make sure the little caps are on there, the covers are on there. And if they have not been on there for a while, please do not proceed to blow out the port with your mouth. You'll probably be putting all sorts of stuff in there as well. There are proper cleaning kits. There are proper tools that will do this for you. If this is something you should be doing, then please get the right tools and instruction on how to do that. Along the same lines, we've got corroded RJ45 pins. I've got a few customers who've got what I call unfriendly environmental areas. You know, high humidity, high cold, high heat, refrigeration units, outdoor installations, that sort of thing. And you can see here, we've got a corroded pin. So obviously that uh, switch was not the proper switch for that environment. There are ruggedized outdoor or ruggedized hardened switches that would handle things like that a lot better. Here we move on to the human element, the ladder on the cutoff switch. And this customer was complaining that, hey, the network would just literally cut in and out, pardon the pun. And literally we walked over one day and we just happened to catch the uh, janitor walking by with a ladder. I noticed later the ladder was leaned up against that little cutoff switch. There was no pin in the lever to prevent it from going down. So it was a perfect storm. There you go. And lastly, we have PoE injectors. As I get involved with these wireless network upgrades, people went from you know G to N and now they're considering AC. Sometimes they have external PoE injectors because their switch does not support it or does not support it well enough or whatever. These PoE injectors are um, in the mix, so to speak, and you should check them out. Make sure they're rated for the proper network speed. The switch might be a gig, the AP may support a gig, but guess what? The injector may only be 100 meg. Sometimes the injectors start to flake out. You get all sorts of crazy physical level errors as well, so you should know where those are in your environment. All right, let's move on to the next one. Cable and layer one errors. And these are all various things that can cause layer one issues. We've got good old cable pinched in the door. Uh, I was joking with this customer. It was sadly, it was the truth. I said, oh, well, it's just the firewall. It can handle a few physical level errors, can't it? And sure enough, uh, it was the case. We've got these RJ45 Cat5, female to female. Um, please make sure if you do have these couplers everywhere and if they were quote unquote temporary that they really are temporary somebody goes back and obviously replaces it with a proper length of cable in many cases cat5 couplers may not cause an issue but as you go up in speed the issues may start to arise so look out for that and this was a, a wireless bridge we had outside of a building for a customer and we went back to check out why it wasn't working well and we noticed the customer had a little bit, a little bit of handiwork here you can see the arc on the bottom of the unit which is not a good sign so obviously improper cable repairs is also something else to look out for and when you do uh, your show interface commands from Cisco or Juniper or whatever you're working on please pay attention to the statistics and try to understand what an input error is what could cause that a CRC area that sort of thing it gives you an idea if it is layer one or not and here's the last slide so this is another example of a Cisco show interface every vendor provides statistics on their ports and please pay attention to a few things like the speed in the duplex if that's in fact what it's supposed to be that sort of thing when was the last time you cleared the interface counters right if it says it was cleared a month or two ago then the numbers are almost meaningless right please make sure you clear your counters please make sure you know how to do that i've run into a lot of equipment where clear counters resets the interface so please look out for that this is something you should be trying uh, before you run into a problem and in this case you can see 3.6 megabits per second down and the internet connection for the customer is 4 meg up and 4 meg down. Well, this is the average, the 5 minute average. So I'm sure this is peaking at 4 meg at some point on the way inbound to the router or the download, if you will. Uh, that's obviously the issue that they're maxing out their connection. And it's further backed up by all of these 
errors that were zero for the last five days, 12 hours. So there is no physical level issues in this case. This is a utilization issue. There you go. So hopefully that helps you out. You can go back and check this stuff out wherever you happen to work or just keep it in the back of your mind while you troubleshoot. Have a good day. Bye for now. Thank you.